to today's video where we are going to be feeding the piggies while I talk. There we go. Okay, so today's video is going to be about a very commonly debated about guinea pig topic. And that is, are guinea pigs good pets for children or are they good starter pets? And there are many good reasons for why they aren't, and a few good reasons for why they are. And my answer to this, when people ask me, because they hear I have guinea pigs and they're like, Oh, I've been thinking about getting my kids guinea pigs. Are they good pets for children? And my answer is always no. And I know that this is a something we could put up for debate and I'm just going to share with you my side of why I think the answer is no. So the first reason I believe that guinea pigs are a exotic and not starter pet is that they are I guess the space. We you have to have a fairly large cage to own guinea pigs and most children will keep their guinea pigs in a pet star cage which is not at all a good living space for them so as i always say please don't get those for your guinea pigs but this is one thing that a lot of um, parents just get for their kids They'll be like, oh, we saw something cute and fluffy at the store. I'm going to buy it for my child. I'm not even going to do any research as to how to take care of it. We're just going to buy my kids something cute and fluffy. And so they just bring a guinea pig home and put it in a tiny cage. And that's how that poor little guinea pig is going to have to spend the rest of their life. And so that's one big reason I don't think guinea pigs are pets for children. Another thing is the work that is involved with owning guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are very messy animals. As you can see, I cleaned their cage on Sunday. Here it is Monday evening and, or Saturday, I cleaned their cage. And here it is Monday evening and we've already got a mega mess. So children, frankly, just aren't up to this. They just want their guinea pig to play and cuddle, and that's about it. So they're not really going to focus on the essentials like giving it water, giving it hay, cleaning the cage. Now, I know some kids are very responsible and will do this, but majority just leave this part to their parents, leaving their parents to just kind of slack on it, just kind of like sweep it up and then throw some new bedding in, and that's it. And I think that something guinea pigs really, really enjoy is having a fresh new cage where everything is rearranged and new and exciting to them. And this really, I think, adds a lot of fun variety to your guinea pig's life. So this is another reason why guinea pigs are probably not the best pet for children. Another is children are going to want to cuddle and play with their guinea pigs 24-7, show them off to all their friends, dress them up in cute costumes, try to take them out for walks, put them in hamster balls. Not okay. <laughs> um, guinea pigs aren't actually supposed to be snuggly animals. I know some guinea pigs are extremely cuddly and Emmy is one of those piggies. She loves to curl up on my lap and take a nap while I watch a movie. I'm not really sure why, but no, that's just kind of how Emmy is. That's her personality. She doesn't mind snuggling up and getting a hour long head massage. And some guinea pigs are totally fine with this. They're totally cool with it. Um, and other guinea pigs really don't want to be held. They just want to be in their cage. And that's Misty. She really doesn't like to come out for floor time even. And obviously I have to take her out of the cage during cage cleaning. So she honestly doesn't enjoy being out of her cage too much. She just likes to stay normally under the ramp or just kind of chilling out by the hay rack or 
hay pile. We don't have a hay rack right now. Because we had a really tiny one. And Emmy decided that the hay rack we had is not a good one to use. And then she stopped using it. And then all the other guinea pigs start, stopped using it. And they weren't eating hay. So we took the hay rack out. And now they eat hay very happily. So, side story. But, yeah, most guinea pigs aren't cuddly. They don't really snuggle in the wild, so they don't really get why you would want to snuggle with them. They generally don't like to snuggle with each other. They will kind of, like, sleep close together, but they won't actually be touching. They prefer personal space. So, that... And guinea pigs don't always want to be pet. So if you're petting a guinea pig and it, like, pushes their head up, then that means that they don't like it. And they would that's kind of their kind way of asking you to stop. And let's see if MB will do it. Like that, that little push she did with her head. That's her way of saying, leave me alone, I'm eating. So, guinea pigs aren't exactly cuddly like dogs are so that's a big thing that kids want to do with their guinea pigs and they might want to put them on a leash and walk them and if you saw my um guinea pig products to stay away from harnesses were a item on that list if you're walking your guinea pig that's not comfortable they're not dogs they don't like that and when you pull on their little leash, it could choke them, even though it's strapped around their belly. You could still choke them, and that would not be good. And another thing I know a lot of kids do is putting their guinea pigs in a ball to let them run around and play, which is not okay at all because arching their back like that will break their spine and more than likely lead to death. So, please don't put your guinea pigs in hamster balls. Leave those for hamsters. Those aren't even actually that great for hamsters either. So, just a little side note there. And so, if they're not even completely safe for a hamster, they're not safe for your guinea pigs. Please don't put your guinea pigs in wheels either. I know there are some, like, gigantic wheels for, like, chinchillas that people put guinea pigs in. They're not going to use it. Um... But, so these were some reasons that I think guinea pigs are not pets for children and are a little more advanced for, a little more of an advanced pet for more responsible or experienced pet owners. Basically, to put it simply, children aren't ready for the responsibility. They don't know how to respect their guinea pig as a living being and not a doll. And they just, I guess, aren't really mature enough to handle a pet with that much responsibility. So here is Coco asking you, please don't buy your children guinea pigs for Christmas unless you're absolutely certain that they are going to take amazing care of it and are have done a ton of research to take care of their guinea pigs and give their guinea pigs a good guinea pig life with lots of veggies and hay and buddies so unless your child is completely committed and knows all the guinea pig care things don't get these pets for your children i would say they are an exotic and not a starter pet